up, Humanoid Nation? So, it's been a while since I did this. I know I say that all the time, but fuck. I've been trying to do this, but I've been so goddamn lazy in life. But anyways, let's just do this. Enough with excuses. I've been... Yeah, enough with excuses. So let's just start this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the forgotten TV shows of the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. All mixed up together. They're not in a specific order. I'm just doing it like this, whatever. Because I don't like doing specific order type shit. You know how I am, blah, blah, blah. Shit like that. Did I just say blah, blah, Yes, I did. Anyways, enough stalling. Let's get to it. Number 11. The Littlest Hobo. There's a voice that keeps on calling me. Oh my god. This show. I used to watch the show as my grandma back in the day. Such good times bonding with my grandma. Cause like, yeah, it was like, it's a Canadian show. It's about a dog who basically is a hobo in the title itself, goes around different cities and basically helping out people. And each and every episode ends with like the people wanting to adopt the guy, but the hobo dog is saying like, nah, I'm good, son. I'm, I'm good, son. I'm out of here. Cha, I need to save people. And off he goes. Every episode, he's saving somebody else. He never gets a hole, which is kind of sad. But that's what he is. He chose to do this. Like, he is the littlest hobo that we don't deserve and we get. Actually, we do deserve him. Because he's so fucking cute, man. He, and yes, I said cute. I'm a dog lover. I love dogs, okay? But yeah, this was back in the day of YTV when it was actually watchable. I don't know if Americans or anybody else around the world has YTV. I think it's only a Canadian thing, but we had it in YTV. But yeah, if you've never seen this show, check it out. It's on YouTube or just look around for it. It's amazing. I'm pretty sure it's on repeats, on reruns on TV somewhere. Who knows? Maybe it's not. Anyways, on to the next one. Number 12. Eek the Cat. I don't know what to say about this show. It's basically a purple cat just going on adventures. That's basically it. But damn, was it all so fun to watch. Number 13. Am I the only one that remembers this show? God, the Devil, and Bob. Odd ah, here. So I was all set to destroy the world. What? If just one soul could show me it's worth saving, I'd spare it. And being a sporting deity, I let the devil choose. So, folks, meet your last chance for salvation. Wow. This is good beer. Oh, boy. Yes, you read that right. There's a show out there once upon a time called God, the Devil, and Bob. So, basically, this guy is living with God and the Devil, his roommates. They're going wacky adventures. Bob was voiced by French Stewart. Some of you may not know who French Stewart is. This is French Stewart. See, I got that. Hip Hop Street don't care about nothing because I'm all of that and a side of fries kind of attitude. All right. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, 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 no. We diss them. We love this solar system. And I'm old that I had to mention this at my work one time. And I asked, like, have you ever seen Sir Rock and the Sun? And they look at me like, the what? I'm showing my age, guys. I'm showing my age. But they got really into it when I said that Joseph Gordon-Levitt was in it as a teenager with long hair and he looked like a girl so I guess that's good that they're gonna watch it just because of Joseph Gordon-Levitt oh my god I'm showing my old age oh. oh yeah who else is in this show Alan Cumming okay I guess he has to start from somewhere number 14 stressed Eric Maria! I'm ten years late already! It was a short-lived show, guys. It was basically, the title just says it all. It's a guy named Eric who stressed the entire time. I'm surprised he didn't die in every episode, because goddamn stressful situations left and right, that would just fucking kill a person. How the hell did he sleep? Well, how did he do anything? Man! If I was Eric, I'd be like this. For those of you who don't know what that is, that's from the movie Scanners. Again, I'm showing how old I am. Uh, 
Number 15, Ned's Newt. I fucking love this show, man. Talk about an awesome show. Like, this little kid basically has a newt for a pet. All of a sudden, like, it turns into a giant ass newt and, like, they're best friends and they go on adventures. Man, it was amazing. It was, like, the best buddy TV show out there back in the day. Oh my god, just remember this show is amazing. Ned's Newt, man, I, my childhood was awesome. It was just was. Number 16, My Pet Monster. Okay, so seriously, for a minute there, I thought that the TV show was first and then the movie was later. But no, they did the movie first and then the TV show after. But the TV show was pretty cool for what it was. And then when I found out that Basically, there was a movie, but I think a lot of us were like basically excited for this shit because we had never seen a movie, or some of us did, but some of us didn't. I don't know. It, it's 90s, like it's fucked up back then. Yeah, it is. But we, as soon as we saw the movie, we were excited. But what the fuck did we get? We got this shit. Your statues turned me into a monster. What the hell is that? The hell is that? How the fuck does that look anything like what's on the box? That's not my pet monster, it's a fucking radioactive Garfield plushie! Well said, Nostalgia Critic, well said. Number 17, Donkey Kong Country. much to say about the show. All I have to say about the show, it's... Oh, well, what if I said, well, if you... Yeah. Kind of really forgettable, not that great, but it was worth watching sometimes. Maybe. I just know I'll never forget the show. It was okay. Number 18, Johnny Bravo. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Way there. Do, 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 do. I don't know what the fuck this was, but okay. Looks like I'm like jacking off a cow here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Johnny Bravo, man. That was such a cool show. This guy that's just so into himself, just like thinks he's the god of all women, just going around trying to pick up chicks. Basically, that's what the entire show was. Johnny Bravo just going around, hey, mama, like to get with this guy. Basically, trying to get the dick to every single lady out there. <laughs> But it was a cool show, man. And yeah, once upon a time, Dwayne Johnson was supposed to uh, play Johnny Bravo. Don't believe me? Ha <laughs> ha! What the fuck does he look like? I don't. I think that's Photoshop. It may be Photoshop. But once a time, he was supposed to play Johnny Bravo. I don't know how that would have worked, but Rock as Johnny Bravo was basically an Elvis impersonation, but Samoan. But yeah, there was once upon a time where there was supposed to be a Johnny Bravo movie. Can you believe that shit? Number 19, Mummies Alive. So basically the same formula as Street Sharks, who took their formula from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Basically four things, like whatever the fuck it is, the thing of the day, like turtles, sharks, and this, now we have mummies, so basically the formula of four mummies fighting crime, saving the city, and they have a sidekick as a little boy, as their sidekick. I don't know, I forget what Street Sharks has, but it's been a while. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, or, or of course they had April O'Neil. So Mummies Alive is basically what that is. Basically a lot of people tried to do the same formula back then. Hey, why not? If it works, it works. Number 20. Uh oh. Oh. You wanna know what this show is? Here you go. What do you say when you sneeze all over the vice principal's face? <laughs> Hold on a second. Rewind that. Or go back to it. Ah, the, uh, the 90s intro. Smiling at the camera, turning around. God, I loved it. I God, I miss it. Let's continue on. Oh my God, Patricia. I remember Patricia. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So my second crush right after Amy Jo Johnson from Power Rangers. 
She was my second crush. She was. It's just a little crush, crush. Not like and the host of this show is called Wink Yahoo, who I swear is on something, cause check this shit out. You know I budget my time accordingly. Hey, this hair don't come easy, you know. <laughs> there it is, Lazar. Hey, you won't find any pollen in this hair. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Whether he was on something or just really, really hyper, this show was amazing because it was fucking awesome, is what I gotta say. I wonder what Wink Yahoo looks like today. Some video? Some video? Some video? Yeah. Some video? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, that was unexpected. Story time. Back in the day when I was around 12 or 13. I went to the fair here in Edmonton. It's not really a fair, it's a carnival. with it rides, we call it K-Days. I don't know what you guys call it around the world, but basically it's a carnival with rides. Done with it. Yes, get on with it! Get on with it! Wink, Yahoo, and Patricia were giving out autographs. So me being 12 years old, I was thinking, hey, why not get an autograph? But here's the problem though. As I told you before, I have Marfan syndrome. So, at 12 years old, I look fucking 17, because I was a tall fucking kid. And I was standing in line with a bunch of 8-year-olds, 9, 10, whatever, like short little motherfuckers. And here comes this kid who's 12, who looks like he's a fucking teenager. I look so out of place, but I didn't really think about it at that time. Even Wink Yahoo gave me this look, like, what are you doing here? But he didn't say anything, because he's Wink Yahoo, he's an awesome person. I don't know what the fuck I did with that autograph, man. I lost it a long time ago. I seriously don't know. It was a long, long time ago. When I was like 10, man. What the fuck? It's like, yeah, I don't know what I did to it, but... It was one of those moments where, like, I should have known, but... I was 10. I was a dumb kid. But it was funny, though, now that I think back. But... That's the coolest fucking story I've ever heard in my entire life. That's insane. Is it... Can I hear it again? Do you have time? That's it for now, from 11 to 20. Tune in next time, whatever that is. Hopefully it's not six months down the road where I'll do 21 to 30, hopefully. Anyways, take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out. Bye.